Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 2 Blind. We're uh, we're still in Demanta, taking care of some stray robots because we've already uh, gotten there. Um, oof, this is also heavy. I can't really take much more of this. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're still taking care of stray robots. We've already taken out their leader over here, so that's good. Let's get some water. And unfortunately, we failed the uh, water guys because, well, they're already all dead outside. I think we should have gone in here much earlier than we did, which is unfortunate, but oh well. So, let's go over here. Oh. oh, what's this? There's a painting here. A big room with a safe in the corner, and a dead man with a shotgun slumped behind an old desk. There is also an easel and paint box by the door, and a canvas with a half-finished portrait of a smiling woman. A plump, middle-aged man with a thatch of sandy blonde hair and oil paint all over his fingers and shirt, all partially obscured by sprays of blood. Searching him, you find a postcard and reads, David, I'm sorry. I married Randy for better or for worse. I can't break that vow no matter how much I want to. Forgive me, Sarah. A final piece of furniture, well cared for, half hidden under a copy of High Finance magazine is a brass nameplate that reads Davis uh, Barnes, proprietor. Oh, that's interesting. We can take the painting. At the edges of the painting where David hadn't filled in the full saturation of color, you can just make out another fainter image below the portrait. He was painting over something else. wonder what it was. Well, his legacy shall continue or something. What is... what is that? Is that a... oh, that's a secret door. You don't build a fence unless you're trying to keep something out. Okay, that's a secret door. And he's also dead, which... oh, great, it's impossible. Oh well, bloody safe cracking. Even though I put more, more into it. Oh, this is not booby trapped either, is it? Oh, I can't actually. What? Oh, you can do it from this side. There we go. Okay, I just want that extra. No, go on this side. I just want that extra XP. Well, that's unfortunate. Everyone in here is dead. I should have done this earlier. But, oh well, what is done is done now. Clank. 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 And boom! Yeah! <laughs> I love rangers. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. There's nothing left here for us. What does the log say? Help Jill find her cows and help uh, Bachowski. Yeah, we need to find that... That thing still. That, uh, that plane. Well, let's go through here. We need to find that plane. What's that? Oh, it's these bloody things. They're all dead. Right, so how do we find that plane? It's probably this one. It's enormous. Let's go over here. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't explored this area yet. So definitely let's go over here and see what we can find. Do -do 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 -do, toaster repair. Well, next time I play this, I certainly know how to make a better team right at the beginning. Hmm, this is interesting. We haven't been here yet. Maybe more robots? That is an enorm- Ooh. More robots? That is an enormous plane. Look at that. It's probably the one that, uh... We needed to find. Let's go this way first before we go that way. That is pretty huge. Oh, nothing here. Very cool, though. What does this say? Can't read it. Maybe it's from the other side. Oh, that's a huge plane. Wait a second. Wasn't this... Where we rescued that guy? No, it's not. This is just another plane like that. Right, let's go. Let's go kick those robots' asses. You can hear them. 
<laughs> That's a cool shadow effect. I wish there were more like that. More shadow effects. This place looks deserted, but there are bloodstains on the pavement. Hey, amigos, a little help? Hoppy. Um... Standing at the top of the barricade and swinging a wrench at the robots is a tough-looking Native American woman wielding an arc welder. A tin sign over the door reads Palomar Garage, Repairs and Service, Habla Español. Well, let's get this thing. Boom! That was a lot of damage already. Come and get it. Oh, there's, ooh, there's a lot of robots. Come and get it. Yeah, these things are slow. Slow, slow, slow. Right. Skulls for this. Get it. Just don't hit your buddy. Ow! Of course you did. Right. Um. Let's go for this one. Not too bad. Rose will take care of that one. Let's go for this one. Yep. Weapon jammed again, but that was a lot of damage. That was 117 crit, wasn't it? Jeez. I like the fact that the game actually gives you the total amount of damage you did. Like that, it's very nice. I was hoping you would finish it off. Let's go for that one. Just because I want Rose to finish these guys off. Nice. And this one as well. Good night. And it's empty, I forgot to reload. Hello. Oh, he's gonna do an AoE attack, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. I guess he doesn't have the APs for that. Hello, robot. Come on, crit him, crit him. No, crit him. Ah, he's dead, e either way. Bam. Right, 9% to hit. Yeah, that's, that's really gonna work. You missed! And that's jammed. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. 59, that's a little too close. There we go. Oh, I should have done a... Yeah, uh, I should have done an auto shot. Oh, well. Anything else here? No. Yeah, just use this. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> well, Rose will finish him off then. One shot should do it. Nice. Phew, thanks! Come around to the alley door. I'll let you in. Right. People leveled up. Thank you. Lots of leveling up. And there's another attribute point. Hmm. Strength. Well, you do need more strength. Probably. Or maybe I should do more, uh, so we get more action points. Let's see. Awareness, speed, no. Intelligence, one attribute, no. Hmm. I'll just have strength then. Uh, who else leveled up? It was Pizepi Joran. Skills. I guess smartass. Right. Loads of stuff here. <laughs> um. Right. More tank treads and such. Can't really carry much more of this. So we're gonna have to leave it. It's open! Oops, didn't want to do that. That was awesome! What a tidy little shop. I love seeing competent people doing work they love. Oh, look at that little thing. Who's that? Maggie. Even when she's not shooting robots with an acetylene torch, this woman would look, uh, looks tough. She's dressed in sleeveless mechanics or coveralls, and sports a jet black pompadour and tattoos of naked ladies down both wiry arms. Thanks for saving our asses, amigos. We owe you, big time. I'm Hopi, and this is that's my wife, Maggie. Back there at the bench. We ain't accustomed to being damsels in distress, but when Big Betty broke down, we had to fall back to a pipe wrench, and I'll be honest, it just wasn't cutting it. 
Is that Big Betty? Um, who's Big Betty? Our machine gun. She was running just fine when this ro uh, robot riot got started, but she jammed and her trigger mechanism went bluey. Maggie's trying to kitbash a fix, but we really need parts. Say, you folks wouldn't happen to have a spare gun we could strip. Anything with a trigger. Maggie can uh, jigger the bits off. When did this robot business begin? Started a couple of days ago, no idea what the, theory, uh, what the story is, but all of a sudden robots started pouring out of the airplane graveyard and attacking everybody in town. Mass murder or not, I gotta hand it to her, whoever's getting the fuckers up and running. Maggie and I pulled old Jamie out of the graveyard two years ago and we still can't uh, make him go. Tell me about Jamie. He's my wedding gift to Maggie. She always wanted a robot, so I dragged him out of the gra graveyard and brought him home. Still can't get him running, though. Some problem with his brain, I think. His brain? Maggie knows mechanics. I know metal work. Neither of us knows computers, so we're kind of shit out of luck. Tell, tell you what, you get him running, you can keep him. After all the robot attacks, we're not so hot on him anymore. Kind of afraid he's going to wake up and kill us in our sleep. <laughs> That's cool, we got level 10 in uh, computers. What's the airplane graveyard? Our local beauty spot. An abandoned airport, I guess. People come from all, over, uh, all around to scavenge for metals and parts. There were dead robots lying all over the place out there. Now they just woke up. Tell me about Maggie. Her real name's uh, Bernice Maggie, but I call her Maggie because, well... Who the hell would want to be called Bernice? Around the garage, she's in charge of engine repair, electronics, etc. I take care of paint, bodywork and upholstery. What? Are there still cars in use? I guess. Maggie's your wife? Yep. Her and me went to the Temple of Titan and asked those crazy priests to marry us. I figured the best place to get hitched to a bombshell like Mag's was in a place where they worship an atomic bomb. <laughs> your name is Hoppy? Well, this, it ain't my real name, but that's what folks call me. 100% full-blooded Hoppy Indian. Do you have anything to trade? I got a couple of things. Finally, we can sell all the bloody junk. Look at that money. Yeah. I like it. And we can buy more stuff here. Definitely want that. Could get more 762. Uh, is there anything else? I oh my god, I've got so much 38 caliber. I'm just gonna sell that, I guess. So that. Um, I'm gonna keep that pistol probably. These are quite expensive. Pickled health. I wonder what happens with these. I'll have to investigate. Also, all of this beer. Maybe I should keep it, but. Uh, no, these things aren't marked as junk. Why not? Hmm. I'm gonna keep them. I should probably even keep the beer. I don't know, might use it for something. Right, uh, I can sell this mason cannon, can sell this M16. Can sell the farmer's diary, the journal. The tank tread, which is eight bloody pounds. I have to pay 1,000, but hey, it's worth it. Where did you get that hot rod? Now that uh, was Maggie's wedding gift to me. I always wanted a hot rod, and now I've got one. Of course, we're having some trouble fixing that too. Engine's completely rusted out. We're gonna go into the graveyard and see if I could find a replacement. Well, that's kind of out of the question now. Do you have anything to train? Right. Thanks again for the save, and good luck out there. I bet you could teach me a lot about mechanics. Right, we can, uh, we can fix that thing. Honey, I don't see a way to fix her. Not without parts. Right, I, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be too happy about me rummaging there. They will? Okay. That's fine. Right, we can fix this thing now. It's simple. It's a simple job. <laughs> so now we have a robot pet. Ah! Ah! One got inside! Oh wait, it's just Jamie. The, ra the rangers got him to work. God damn, rangers! A little heads up on that would have been nice. <laughs> How'd you do that? I've been fooling with this neural net processor for the past few years, and I've only managed... You know what? Never mind. Just get him out of here. If I never see another one of these one-eyed monsters again, it'll be too soon. Alright, so now we've got a little robot following us, I guess. It doesn't show his health or anything. Hmm. 
Such a cute old robot. A lush uh, redhead with green eyes, freckles, and grease smudges all over her hands and face. She's got the body of a pinup and the dress sense of a plumber. <laughs> her hair is tied in a, uh, back in a blue bandana. Oh hey, thanks for helping Hoppy take out those robots. If you hadn't shown up, we would have been reduced to throwing wrenches at them. If you need any repairs, you got it. No charge. We owe you for the rescue. How did this robot business start? No idea. All of a sudden, they just started coming out of the airplane graveyard and attacking everybody. It's like somebody flipped a switch. Makes me afraid old Jamie back there is gonna wake up. Airplane graveyard? It's an old military airstrip to the north of here, filled with junk places and uh, planes and ro dead robots. At least they were dead. Tell me about Hopi. She's my husband. Hot on the outside, soft and sweet on the inside. Kind of the opposite of me. Um... Her? Her who? Big Betty, her machine gun. She's worked fine for years, but of course, just when you need her most, her trigger assembly goes to hell. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a gun you'd be willing to trade for. Any gun would do, I just need something with a working trigger. Can you use this to repair Big Betty? Excellent. Well, I already gave him, you know, those guns. That's what I was afraid of. So you need to give her some guns, not... Well, I could give the pistol, but it's kind of a nice pistol. I guess. There. Great, great, one second. <clears throat> There we go, all yours. Go and introduce her to those damn robots. Oh, she's giving me a... Come on back if anything needs fixing. Such knowledgeable woman. I much have much to learn. Right, so we got a Big Betty. Nice, let's uh, compare that. Right, so this has... Slightly less damage. Uh, same hit chance and critical chance. 0% chance to jam, a little more range, a lot more capacity, and, hmm, yeah, same armor penetration. I'm not really a huge fan of it. It does use 7.62, however, but wait, who, oh yeah, Darren uses 7.62 as well. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this, I mean, it's less damage. And I usually don't have problems with capacity, so... Oh well, it doesn't matter. We got a big thing we can use. Right. So let's get out of here. Let's see, the robot will probably follow us. I am guessing this robot will uh, simply do the disco thing. I'm hoping, it's kind of cool. <laughs> right, let's uh, pick up all this up and sell it as well. The hoarder in me does not let anything go to waste. You're the ones who put a stop to the robots in the graveyard. That's awesome. Maybe now Demonta can get back on its feet. Anything we can do for you, just ask. It's yours. Right. Sell all junk. There we go. Nice. Yeah, she's got a lot of money still. I could buy even more. How much ammunition does, do you have? 39. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna actually buy more sniper ammunition. Because I like it. Anything else we can sell? Well, the Big Betty, I guess. But we're gonna take that apart for parts, rather. Yeah, nothing else, really. That's a lot of... That's a lot of ammunition we have. Let's see. Look at all that stuff. Alright, let's give some to him. Some to her. And all of the 762 to Darren, because he's using the AK. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is another dead end, right? Yeah. We still need to find that uh, airplane, however. The wasteland, the wasteland, okay. Yeah. That is the airplane. Hmm. We must have missed it somewhere. But I don't know where. Over here, I don't think there are any airplanes, really. Well, that thing, maybe over here. Can you actually go here? No, you can't get there. I'll just keep, I'll just keep moving. Um, nothing here. Wait, can I... Press Z 
here where will it show me things come on show me something please hmm I wish you could zoom out more. That's an interesting thing. Hmm. No planes that really have that... Uh, that name. Hmm. Can't get too close to them. No. Still have to go and tell him about the cows, of course. This is where the cows are. And nothing else. A crepe emptied of all valuables by some enterprising looter. That was us, I believe. <laughs> so where the hell do we find that plane? I'm guessing it's a big plane. <laughs> no names over here. No nothing! This is annoying. Who the hell is that? Dimitri! What? What the hell is he doing here? <laughs> it's bizarre. I think he got stuck somehow. I don't know where to find that plane. I really don't know. We'll try to find it though. Well, that's the... That's where we found the, uh, the guy. Still nothing. Where's where's the people that I need to uh, bring the cows to? That's the question. Should be here somewhere, right? Towards the exit. Oh, now I'm going the other way. Let's just go over there. See, there's an entrance here, but I think it should be just buried somewhere. I don't think it should be here somewhere. I don't know. That's this plane. A big familiar looking truck blocks the alley. Yeah, we know that. Can't get through that. And it doesn't actually... I mean, we could, I guess, if we smashed it. But it just goes back to uh, the same place. Yeah, nothing else here. Oh well, kind of disappointing, but... Oh well. So wait. Where the hell are they? Who's that? Cowboy. Oh, I think it's these guys, right? I think these guys lost their cows. So we can go and tell them about the cows. Go talk to him. Hello there. Howdy, Rangers. Good to lay eyes on you. You found the herd? Terrific. Now, here's what I promised you don't spend it all in one place. Thank you, Rangers. What do we get? Adios, Rangers. What did we get? Probably just money. I don't know. Well, anyway, yeah, we received 50 scrap. And there's the cows now, and they're moving. Well, thank you for watching. Next time, I might, uh, I might do it off-screen and find the plane. But I will see you next time. Bye-bye.